Kha or Khert. The original pictogram of the letter was of a wall or fence and possibly also of a thread. This ancient letter would become Ha and Kha and the possibility for this pictogram to be both a wall, fence, and a thread fits perfectly into the development of the Semitic language. The pictogram symbolized the dividing barrier inside of a nomadic tent, which was divided up into two parts, the men's and women's side. The meaning could also extend to the wall separating the outside from the inside. The name of this letter originally was most likely Hert or Khert. The pictogram represented meaning of separation, to disconnect, to protect, and outside, as the wall protected and separated those inside the tent from the outside. Thus, when the letter is used in a word, that word will hold some meaning of that in it. The original pictogram. First Arabic form used in the earliest Qur'ans, Mashq script. The later official Arabic script derived from Mashq called Mashq Kufi, or simply Kufi. Today's form, Naskh script. Khat's ancient name was most likely Khat, and in Arabic means thread, string, yarn, twine, fiber, cord, filament, and kha alif ta, meaning to sew, thread, stitch together, or to couple together. The meaning of separation remains in this letter. The best example is in the Quran, Surah 2, Ayah 187, where Allah tells us that during our fast, we are to fast when the white thread of dawn becomes distinct from the black thread. So in this clear example, we see this word being used to divide the dawn from night. The root word kha ta means to draw or mark a line, streak or stripe, writing, outlining, and dividing, such as a boundary, etc. Kha or khat became the letter H in today's English. In summary, kha or khat. Form. The original pictogram of the letter was of a wall or fence and possibly also of a thread. Meaning. Mnemonic. The pictogram represented meaning of separation. To disconnect, to protect, and outside, as the wall protected and separated those inside the tent from the outside. Name. Khat's ancient name was most likely Khat, and in Arabic means thread, string, yarn, twine, fiber, cord, filament, and kha alif ta, meaning to sew, thread, stitch together, or to couple together. The meaning of separation remains in this letter. The best example is in the Quran, Surah 2, Ayah 187, where Allah tells us that during our fast, we are to fast when the white thread of dawn becomes distinct from the black thread. So in this clear example, we see this word being used to divide the dawn from night. The root word kha ta means to draw or mark a line, streak or stripe, writing, outlining, and dividing, such as a boundary, etc.